you are not going to believe this. Tesla stock has really good news today, which, well, doesn't look like it, judging on the 2% to drop that we're seeing. You are not going to believe this. Tesla actually has really good news today from India, as well as some images from China. But yet the stock is dropping 2%. What's going on with Tesla? We finally got above the critical multi-year resistance level of 260. This was really a trend line in which if we break above that, big gains could be coming. A lot more inflows could be coming. But it seems like we're getting rejected today right at this level. What's going on with Tesla stock? We're going to put that into clarity here in this video. I think a lot of people are going to get faked out here. So... We have a lot to get into in a very short amount of time. We're going to cover all of your Tesla stock news. Make sure that you are informed on what is going on today and you are not misled by maybe what the stock is doing. I could be wrong. I'm not a financial advisor, but I will share my opinions as well throughout this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Tesla is reportedly expected to set up its India manufacturing plant in Jurat with an official announcement reportedly expected at the vibrant Jurat summit in January of 2024. This factory in India is not going to sell Model 3s, Model Ys, S, X, or Cybertrucks. It's going to sell a sub 25 probably sub $20,000 vehicle, potentially even three wheelers to third world countries. This is going to massively address the problem. And that is affordability of EVs. And that's, well, going to very much benefit Tesla. But in order to get to that place, Tesla has to put plans in forth today, right? You don't get somewhere by not planning for it. You don't get to where you want to be by not taking the steps to get there, Tesla is taking the steps to see even larger growth down the line. 2027, 2028, 2029, 2030. This factory will be putting out some numbers for Tesla. As you can also see from this video clip, there is thousands and thousands of vehicles waiting to be shipped out of Giga Shanghai. This is Probably the largest number of vehicles we have ever seen here. The output is cranking in China. And even if a lot of these vehicles are delivered, maybe not in Q4, but more than likely in Q1, that should make Q1 look a little bit better. The fact that we're seeing all of these vehicles, I think, is a positive thing. And here you can see a Tesla Cybertruck spotted charging a Rivian R1S. Now, isn't that something? Tesla synopsis on X says, when can we have FSD V12? Highly anticipated. Elon Musk gives us an update. He says it is already on a lot of cars, but given that it's a completely new architecture. We are doing extra testing. It works very well in California, but needs more training for heavy precipitation areas. So if it rains a lot or snows a lot or maybe fogs up a lot where you live, then maybe FSD V12 needs a little more work. Personally, I would rather wait a little bit longer to get a product that doesn't need as much fixing rather than let out a premature product. Telescope says we can confirm that full self-driving beta V12.1 has now rolled out to wave one, which includes 15,000 plus personally owned Tesla employee vehicles. It's happening. Daitachu, the Japanese automaker owned by Toyota, has halted all domestic production after admitting it forged the results of safety test for its vehicles for more than 30 years. Toyota says the scandal has shaken the very foundations of the company. An independent committee found evidence of safety test tampering on 64 vehicle models, including those sold under the Toyota brand. The production shutdown will last through at least the end of January. Holmar's catalog shared this article. We talked about this yesterday, how a Tesla robot attacked an engineer at the Texas Gigafactory. Andrew McCarthy says attacks implies it made a decision. That robot did exactly as it was programmed to do. Apparently, the worker thought it was off when it wasn't. Elon Musk says, correct. Truly shameful of the media to dredge up an injury from two years ago due to a simple industrial 
Kuka robot arm found in all factories and imply that it is due to Optimus now. That's exactly what happened here. They, they implied from the Daily Mail that Optimus just went out basically stabbing employees. That's ridiculous. That just shows you one of two things. Either financial media is completely retarded and doesn't know what they're talking about to begin with, or they're just personally trying to attack Elon Musk and tear down the Tesla brand. I mean, maybe it's both. Giga Shanghai will suspend its plant for about a week in early January of next year. The purpose is to take a New Year's break and up grade its production line they showed a tremendous performance in 2023 tesla is trying to rebuke some of the fud that reuters just said this this post from tesla on x says reuters published an article that leads with a widely misleading headline and is rippled with incomplete and demonstrably incorrect information the latest piece vaguely and nonsensically suggests there are thousands upon thousands of disgruntled tesla customers it's nonsensical because it's non-factual the reality is tesla's consumer reaction is among the best and highest in the industry and here was the headline tesla blamed drivers for failures of parts in law it, it long knew were defective. Gary Black says, doesn't it feel better when Tesla fights back? A little PR goes a long way. Tesla achieved a new record quarter in Italy today. And by the end of December, we will see new Tesla quarterly sales records for sure in Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, and Portugal. Most likely in China, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, and Poland, and maybe in South Korea, Singapore, Belgium, Greece, Luxembourg, Slovenia, the US, and Canada. The US is a big one because we just don't get any data on a week by week or month by month basis. We don't even get a breakdown of deliveries uh, for different re regions from Tesla itself. So the US is really a huge wild card here. Based on my calculations, the US is going to see a new all time high quarter for Tesla deliveries. And this is going to push Tesla's total Q4 deliveries over 500,000, in my personal opinion. Here's an interesting post. The last time the NASDAQ was at these levels, Tesla was at $360. Since then, Tesla lost 70% of its value from all-time highs, regaining 150% off its lows, but is still about 37% below its all-time highs, even though most of the Magnificent 7 is at or hit all-time highs during that same period. Just some fun facts for the day. And I think this is something we have highlighted many times here on this channel. This is why Tesla will outperform in 2024. It's because it hasn't been outperforming. It hasn't even been close to outperforming over the past two years. Whereas everyone likes to say Tesla's up, you know, 100 plus percent from its lows. Its lows were artificial. Tesla shouldn't have ever hit $100 per share. There was a lot of people that were ganging up on Elon Musk and Tesla at the time because Elon was selling stock. That was artificial. That should have never happened. Tesla's stock should be in the 300s right now, in my personal opinion. The Wall Street will wake up and hear the music very soon. And Tesla stock will go much higher, at least in my personal opinion. And as Ron says on X, I'm seeing a lot of Tesla Q bears, but not a lot of real bear cases. And I think that's very true. The only bear case for 2024 I can even come up with is a potential recession, but that looks less and less likely every single week. Now let's discuss what is causing Tesla's stock to fall over 2% today. We did not have much for data today. We did have continuing jobless claims and initial jobless claims. Initial jobless claims coming in at 218,000, a little bit higher than estimates, but really not doing much for our markets. Wholesale inventories came in line with estimates. Retail inventories, excluding autos, came in a little bit worse than expectations. Pending home sales month over month came in at 0%. The estimate was 0.6% and pending home sales year over year came in at negative 5.2 estimate was negative six. So really nothing to speak of there. I don't think that caused any movement in our markets today. The seven year bond auction did. So the last seven year bond auction we had yields came in at 4.39%, basically 4.40%. 
Today, the yield came in at 3.85%. Some investors were expecting a little bit less than that. Um, So not as much demand as some people were expecting for the seven-year bond. So that did cause uh, a sharp sell off at one point today and that has really turned tesla from down one percent to down two percent you can also see that now today you're back to pricing in six rate cuts instead of seven the odds of six rate cuts at 37.6 percent the odds of seven rate cuts at 35.3 percent so about 2.3 percent of a difference here between pricing in six and seven rate cuts and as you guys know the more rate cuts the better so if we're shaving off another rate cut for 2024 that's obviously going to have a negative impact to tesla stock but probably the biggest thing that is affecting tesla today is the jump in 10-year treasury yields i say jump it's not that big but kind of you're up about six and a half basis points today we've fallen a lot so in the grand scope of things you're still a lot lower than where we were but 10-year treasury yields up six and a half basis points today now to 3.85 percent on an algorithmic basis this does impact tesla and how people buy and sell tesla stock now again yesterday we broke above 260 we actually hit a high of about 260 uh three and some change today you hit a high of 265 and what happened well you're now at 256 dollars per share so you've lost about nine dollars per share today this is a typical rejection around the resistance point the fact that we closed above 260 is the confirmation i've been waiting for sure can you give a little bit of that back of course i i kind of expected that to some point i said very vocally yesterday we wanted to you know stay above 260 for a couple of days or continue higher from 260 and continue to close higher above 260 that's obviously not happening today. We know we have some big catalysts right around the corner. We know the markets, individuals, firms, mainstream media, the government likes to attack Elon Musk, right? That's probably to some extent what is happening today, at least in the investment world. People are back attacking Tesla stock because they do not want it above 260 and some of the biggest headlines hitting the bloomberg terminal today is tesla is urged by u.s senators to recall all faulty vehicle parts following a reuters probe this is complete bs i mean tesla debunked this like we literally just went over these two u.s senators they continue to attack elon they suggested the same thing in 2021 and really dc washington really doesn't acknowledge them it went nowhere in 2021 and they even tried to do the same thing in 2022 now 2023 this is not a shocker but when you have algorithms that trade on headlines this is going to move tesla stock i mean back to the point that i was just making there's a lot of people that want to see tesla stock stay under 260 23.18 billion dollars worth of individuals that want to keep tesla stock under 260 above 260 tesla really changes and 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 kind of turns into a wild card where if you break a long-term downtrending trend you can see huge gains and typically when that happens you can start a new uptrend and break out above the start of the bearish uptrend right which would put tesla stock at new all-time highs if that were the case right if you start an uptrend obviously it's not going to happen next week or next month but tesla stock can trend to the upside and break out past the start of the prior trend which would put the stock above 400 $14.50 $14.50 per share. Tesla's stock is, in fact, the most heavily shorted stock on Wall Street. So there's a lot of people with a financial incentive to keep Tesla stock under 260. Now, the question is, is that going to happen? Are we going to stay under 260? My personal opinion is 
No, we know we have delivery numbers for Q4 coming out here, which should be on January 1st, if not January 2nd, most likely January 1st. And what that is going to do is set Tesla up for the next move much higher or much lower, unless Tesla somehow utterly misses, which would be due to the US, then I don't see Tesla stock staying under 260 right? You can do what you want on a day-by-day -day basis, but when you get good news, Tesla will react to that. The same way Tesla is reacting to these senators that are recalling or asking Tesla to recall their vehicles, well, that those same headlines and algorithms are going to help Tesla when they massively beat Wall Street's estimate for deliveries of 483,000 vehicles. So I think the days are limited that Tesla remains under 260. By days limited, Tesla's under 260, like four days from now, we should be getting Tesla's delivery numbers. And that's when I expect a larger upside reaction in Tesla stock. We do have a brand new AI investor sentiment survey that shows the bear, the bulls are losing a little bit of control here. Now to 46.3% of investors being bullish, 28.6% of investors neutral, and 25.1% of investors that are bearish. This is actually great news if you are bullish because you don't want to see everyone bullish. You want to see you know, people neutral and people bearish as well in order to continue to rally. As far as Tesla's global inventory numbers continuing to fall aggressively now for the Model Y, which should be a good thing. That should be a good sign that we're probably going to beat delivery estimates. And this is actually very interesting. The Cybertruck has been plummeting as far as Google Trends data. You hit a low of 29 and now you're at 34. So it looks like search trend activity starting to pick up for the Cybertruck, starting to pick up as well for the Model 3 and the Model Y. Why? So maybe that halo effect is actually starting. Tesla is currently running about 400 different ads via Google. And despite Tesla's stock being down about 2%, what you're actually seeing under the surface is a lot of bullish position taking. That's why I think today is mainly just an algorithm kind of reaction that is pushing Tesla stock lower. Take a look at this from hedge funds and institutions. You have seen 641 orders totaling $463 million with a positive order value of 90%. It seems like people, hedge funds and institutions specifically, actually want to get into new bullish positions in Tesla stock, likely in anticipation of a very good delivery number, which will be coming out again in four days. If you take a look at the overall volume numbers for Tesla as well, 62.32% to the call side, 37.68% to the put side. Uh, this is very bullish, just overall numbers for Tesla. The open interest on the call side for this Friday is 53%. The open interest on the put side is 46%, almost 47%. So this is, you know, 10% lower put activity today, over 10% higher call activity today than what we've been seeing on Tesla. So all in all, let's boil this down. Do I think Tesla stock is going to remain under 260? Absolutely not. I do think this is an algorithmic kind of reaction due to the senators calling for a recall for Tesla. After all, that's the top headline that is, you know, making the news. It's not the India plant. It's not the thousands of vehicles sitting in Giga Shanghai's parking lot. Although those are very positive things, that's not what is reacting you know, Tesla stock today. It's the senators and this recall. Now, I do think over the next couple of days, Tesla stock is likely to break out much higher than 260. What you're actually seeing under the surface is a lot of new bullish position taking from hedge funds and institutions. That's a much more important part of this equation than I think the algorithm selling Tesla stock because of a really faulty headline about recalls. So, are we going to get above 260 again? Long story short, absolutely, in my personal opinion, Tesla stock going much higher. A quick look at the RSI, that's at 58.36, so uh, pretty much neutral. And the MACD continues to curl higher, and you've, you've been bullish on the MACD for a while, but still a lot more of a gain to go, in my personal opinion, before these 
you know, the RSI and the MACD start to turn into negative kind of overbought indicators for Tesla. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And if you made it to the end of this video, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. What do you think about Tesla's 2% drop today? Are you concerned? Does this change your bullish thesis? Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys would like to come trade with us live in real time link down below in the description of this video we did make a trade today on paypal if you guys want to see that one uh link down below in the description of this video come join us we would love to have you over there regardless of your skill level thank you for watching my name is michael tyler enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next one